Welcome to the final part of a series which we've been running all month, Pat, Finding Your Peace in Lagos. And this time around, we realize that sometimes finding your peace in Lagos requires you going far, far, far away from Lagos. Now, I took my own advice and I went far away from Lagos and landed in the country, Tunisia. Tunisia is a country in Northern Africa, an absolutely beautiful country. I had certain mindsets about Tunisia before I went and everything just struck me positively. I was excited to go there. I explored Tunis, Hammamet, Garma, Suze. It's a city that does not sleep. The city of Tunis and Suze, they do not sleep there. But it's just an absolutely beautiful country. And I hope that you enjoy seeing Tunisia through my eyes. Enjoy. If I were to describe Tunisia in one word, well, I would say enchanting. From horses that remind me of fairy tale cartoons, to the amazing nightlife in a city that barely sleeps. The blue skies, beautiful seas, the water sports, architectural brilliance, the wonderful people, the food. Mm. This was indeed a holiday I will never forget. and I am right here in Tunisia. We are exploring the beautiful cities, helping you see the sights and hear the sound of the cities from Tunis to Hammamet to Suze and all the beautiful places. Also helping you with tips and tricks on how you can enjoy the city. All this through my eyes, so come with me. Tunisia is an African country in the Maghreb region of North Africa. The official languages spoken are Arabic and French. With a population of over 11 million people, its capital city is Tunis. The official religion in Tunisia is Islam. However, it is one of the most liberal Islamic countries. In 2016, Tunisia ranked free in the Freedom in the World rankings, and as at the time of this report, it is the only Arab country to receive this rating. The Tunisian dinar is the currency of Tunisia with currency code TND. The currency is available in paper as well as in coins. As at the time of this trip, 100 US dollars was equivalent to about 280 to 284 Tunisian dinar, depending on where you change it. At the time of the filing of this report, one Tunisian dinar equals 128 Nigerian naira. Going on a holiday in Tunisia and wondering how best to spend your money aside shopping? Here are some fun places to visit. Number 1. The Amphitheatre of El Jam is such a grand display of Roman architectural brilliance. The second largest colosseum in the Roman world. It is built entirely of stone blocks with no foundations. This historical structure became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. Number 2. Sidi Busaid. Sidi Busaid is a tourist attraction named after a religious figure, Abu Said al Baji, who lived there. It is famous for its extensive use of blue and white theme. There's a lot to do within the town shopping from a vast array of artistic work. Getting your henna done, taking photos with the eagles, photos with the blue doors that are everywhere, buy jasmine flowers for the one you love, and much more. For whatever you do, make sure you eat the famous donuts in Sidi Beside and remember to thank me later. Thank you. This, you're having the chocolate one. I'm having the plain one. It costs less than one dinar. It should be though, but really nice. 
Number 3. The Great Mosque of Kairouan. The Great Mosque of Kairouan is situated in the UNESCO World Heritage Town of Kairouan. It is one of the most impressive and largest Islamic monuments in North Africa. Entrance into the premises of this mosque will require a total cover-up of hair, shoulders and knees by anyone who wants to enter. Scarves are provided at the entrance of the mosque for those inappropriately dressed. Number 4. Baba Mausoleum The Baba Mausoleum is the burial place of Abu Jama El Balawi, one of Prophet Muhammad's companions. According to legend, he always carried three hairs from the Prophet's beard and was called the Baba. It is also a ritual place. The most famous ritual carried out here is the circumcision ritual. In the olden days, this ritual was carried out by the barber of the town. In all the time, it's not even a doctor. It's the bar barber of the town who will do it. The only one that gets sizzled. <laughs> and what, what they will do, one of the uncles will hold the kid, and the doctor will say, oh, look at the bird. And then he will, the kid will be looking for the bird. They circumcise the kid. They circumcise the kid. It happens only for boys. For girls, it's prohibited. The Barber Mausoleum, or the Mosque of the Barber, is also known as Mausoleum of Sidi Sahab. Number 5. The Cathedral of St. Vincent de Paul. Although the official religion of Tunisia is Islam, Christianity is not outlawed. The number of Roman Catholics in Tunisia fell rapidly following Tunisian independence from France. The cathedral is located in Tunis. It is dedicated to St. Vincent de Paul, patron saint of charity. It remains under the ownership and operation of the Roman Catholic Church in Tunisia and it is open to Christians as well as tourists. Number 6. Archaeological Site of Carthage Listed today as one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Carthage was arguably one of the most affluent cities in the ancient world. Even after several years of destruction and rebuilding, Carthage is still an archaeological edifice, a beauty full of so much history. After the Third Punic War, the city was destroyed by the Romans and its inhabitants were sold as slaves. The Baths of Carthage, also known as the Antonine Baths, are the fastest set of Roman baths built on the African continent and one of the three largest built in Roman Empire. The baths were built during the reign of Roman Emperor Antoninus Pius, which is why it is also called Baths of Antoninus or the Antonine Baths. The baths have several rooms that served various purposes. Then you pass to the Caldarium, the very hot room. Take all the toxins out. Then you pass to the Tepidarium, Tepid room. After there is a Distractarium. This is where they will use stridges, like uh, tools, to take the skin off. So this is like scrubbing. a local spa, traditional spa. Well in there, and then you get to the Frigidarium. That color cold. is cold. Fridge, from where comes the word yeah. fridge. Look at that column, it's 15 meter height, and it was one of the columns of the Frigidarium. Number 7 <laughs> Hannibal Park. Hannibal Park is one amusement park that never sleeps. It is still a party in this park, even at 2 a.m. in the morning. From taking several rides that will take your breath away, literally. To the haunted room full of scary sounds and objects you only see in horror films. If neither of these interest you, then just enjoy the ambience and the music and the dancing. Because in Hannibal Park, there is something for everyone.
Indonesia certainly has very fancy hotels and it is important to mention that they have a high maintenance culture. For 120 sweet. years. Ah, and these also, uh, these are, they used to put the, the weapons, our grandfather yes. used to have the weapons. Mm. Uh, the tiles are 18th century uh, also and those tiles are painted uh, by hand, carved by hand, made by hand. Let's talk about water sports for a bit because life is so much better on water and a trip to Tunisia convinced me. Even better if your hotel is by the beach, then you have a wide variety of things to do. I got to experience water sports and enjoyed the life on water. <laughs> In experiencing the culture of the people, it is important to eat their food. The Tunisians do not joke with their couscous. For the best way to enjoy this traveling experience, it is advisable to go with a group of people who are eager to explore just like you are. You can take us out of Lagos, but you can never take the Lagos out of us. We carry it everywhere we go and we certainly took some of that Nigerian spice to Tunisia. In finding peace, sometimes you have to travel. It will help you make new memories, hear new stories, learn new cultures, meet new people. Discover Tunisia 2019! My name is Olive Emodi and I hope that you enjoyed seeing Tunisia through my eyes. With love from Tunisia. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.